Allah. Okay, we are joined, uh, uh, some housekeeping, uh, no flash photography, please silence your cell phones, and no recording is allowed. If you need any information about the FTP site or the satellite coordinates, check with Hammond Communications in the back, and then we would ask you to raise your hand, give your name and affiliation, and direct your questions. We're joined by Phil Forte, uh, Joan Evans and Leighton Hammonds, the Oklahoma State student athletes. Is anybody here? Look right here. Barry, Barry Trammell with the Oklahoman. Phil, you've played in a lot of NCAA tournaments, but you guys hadn't won one. Um, how important is, I know being a senior, you want to win for your own team, and, but how important is to, for OSU to get back in the winning business of the NCAA tournament? Question for Phil Forte. Um, obviously, you know, that's kind of your mentality coming in. Um, yeah, being 0-3, that's definitely something that's in the back of my mind. But more importantly, it's just about us moving forward, about our team winning one game and trying to advance. And so uh, we don't have a good game coming up against Michigan. They're very talented, and uh, we're definitely going to have to be dialed in defensively. Right here. John Holcomb, CBS Tulsa. Layton, uh, the balance that Coach Underwood has tried to strike, I know practices all through the season, it's kind of a grind to him. Now you get to this point. How much is he encouraging enjoying the moment while you still get ready? Question for Leighton. Um, I mean, he's just trying to just let guys know that this is the best time of the year. This is what we worked for in the summer. This is what we worked well for throughout the year. And just kind of enjoy the moment. I mean, this is, this is wonderful playing in a tournament like this. This is the best college basketball tournament in the country. And just you got to – it's a business trip, but at the same time, you got to have fun with it. I mean, this is basketball, the game we love. So – just, just trying to have fun with it, but also be locked in. Right here? Yeah. Jawan, when you play a team that you don't know a lot about other than just maybe watch them on TV, how much unknown is there even after the scouting report in terms of who they might match with who and, and, and who you guys want to match up with, those kinds of things? Question for Jawan Evans. Um, they're just something you got to just go in the game and prepare for. Um, you know, they might have changed up some of their plays and stuff like that. So, I mean, you got to go in and just prepare for it, just look for the worst and stuff like that. So, you just got to go out and just play basketball. Right here. Phil, I think it's fair to say that most of the national attention has kind of been on Michigan. Um, do you guys feel – forgotten at all or is paid any attention to that? Phil Forte. Um, you know, rightfully so. The circumstances they had to go through, um, they've handled it very well and kind of, you know, made a national story. And, you know, the way they played in the Big Ten tournament, uh, they're really hot. They're one of the hottest teams in the country. So, um, you know, coming in, we just have to try to focus in on our game plan and, um, you know, just take it four minutes at a time and really try to focus in on what the coaches are telling us. Right here. Leighton, no matter whether you guys win zero games or six games in this tournament, your career is about finished. How important is your legacy that, that you and Phil and, and the veterans have left behind? How important is that to you? Leighton Hammonds. I mean, it means the world to me because, I mean, I'm trying to teach uh, the freshmen that, I mean, it's not just about basketball in college. I mean, you got to learn how to become a man. And I feel like Coach Underwood did a good job predicating that to us and just – Helping me and Phil just try to get to get in those guys' heads that, I mean, regardless of what goes on on and off the court, you still got to wake up every day and be a man and and live throughout your actions. So I mean, just trying to just leave my legacy as just being a good person on and off the court and just trying to be a man. Questions, please, for the, for the fellas right here. Mm -hmm. Phil, back to that other point: is being an underdog or kind of overlooked? Um, are you comfortable with that role? Question for Phil. Uh, you know, we've been in that situation before. Uh, you know, playing in the Big 12, you play a lot of good teams. So uh, that's really not anything we're really worried about. It's more just us going out there and playing the game that we know we're capable of playing and just making sure we go out and execute the game plan that the coaches draw up. We've been coached, uh, joined by Coach Underwood. And Coach, if you'd like to make a, just a general statement, and then we'll open it up to questions for anybody. Well, we're very excited to be here. Uh, there's nothing, uh, nothing greater than uh, March Madness and uh, uh, being here with a group of guys that, uh, uh, if nothing else, are extremely resilient, 
they're, they're um, uh, very, very high character young men. I couldn't be prouder to be here with them in terms of uh, uh, this season has, uh, has been an interesting one in terms of it's had some ups and downs. Uh, we've got a great opponent in uh, Michigan who obviously is uh, uh, coming off a tremendous high winning their, uh, their Big Ten championship. And um, look forward to the opportunity and, and, and relish the challenge. And, uh, uh, and the NCAA tournament is very special to me. And, and uh, I, I look forward to uh, uh, what should be two very good teams uh, going to battle uh, tomorrow afternoon. Questions for Coach Underwood or anybody, uh, uh, any of the student athletes right here? Juwan, this is obviously your first taste of this. What are your emotions as you've gotten ready for, for tomorrow? I mean, has it been hard to kind of Keep yourself uh, from getting too excited. Question for Juwan. Um, no, not really. I just take it as just, just another game. You know, just coming out here, just have fun, just play my game, uh, and I'm glad just to have another game with my teammates. Questions right here. Yeah, Juwan. Similar to what I asked Phil and, and Layton, what what would a victory do not just for your team but for the overall program of Oklahoma State basketball? Juwan. Uh, it'd be a great victory for us. You know. The times we have been here, we fell short. But I feel like a victory uh, will keep us going, you know, keep us playing hard for the next seasons. Right here in front, right. Uh, Coach, you, you mentioned the other night on the uh, on your teleconference that uh, you know, about how well Juwan's playing and all that stuff. It, now that you've had a chance to really look uh, at at what Derek Walton's doing, have you seen any more similarities between the two, or, or are they different players? Question for Coach Underwood. Well, I think they do it in, in, a, in a little bit of a different manner, but uh, uh, actually it's hard to argue with his numbers uh, of late. I mean, you know, he's 20 points per game in the Big Ten tournament. Uh, he's doing it uh, in just about every fashion. Uh, transition, he's doing it in the half court, he's hitting jump shots, he's finishing at the rim. Uh, Juwan does, a lot, does all those things. And, and uh, you know, I, I've said this and I believe this, you know, uh, Juwan makes his teammates better, and that's the definition of a great player. And um, uh, their guy does the same thing. And I mean, he makes their teammates better. He's, he is the, uh, the driving force for their team, and uh, he's got great leadership skills. Uh, that's been very evident watching him on film, getting guys' faces when he needs to, and challenge them, and, and pat them on the butt when they need it, and, and uh, uh, sign of a very good player. Questions, please, right, right here. Uh, Coach, uh, the teams have taken different approach to guarding their pick and pop game. Uh, do you uh, do you think that that uh, they remind you of anyone? And what's the risk reward of uh, some teams have tried to switch every screen with them? What's the risk reward and the conditions under which you might try and do something? Well, they like do, that? Coach. They do a tremendous job of reading whatever you do. Um, you know, I think that. Uh, Whatever way you choose to guard them, it, it, it's it's to a certain extent you pick your poison. Uh, teams that have switched, you know, can can give up rebounds. Um, you know, teams that, uh, that that don't force you into rotations, and you're you're talking about four guys or five guys on the perimeter uh, that have great spacing, uh, and that's what makes what they do so difficult. Is is John does an incredible job of spacing the floor and and. Uh, uh, they force you an extra step or two because they can shoot it. And then you've got a guy like Irvin who, who's, a, who's a very good driver. So uh, you pick your poison with whichever uh, you choose and, and uh, you've got to make it difficult and, and, uh, and not allow them to be as comfortable as they want to be. And then you've got to contest shots. Questions, please? Right here. Brad, I asked your players something similar, but. OSU's only got one NCAA tournament victory and, and since Eddie Sutton's last year. How important is it not just to get here, but to, to start winning again in the NCAA tournament? Question for Coach Underwood. Well, I think we have a long history at Oklahoma State of, of, of success in the NCAA tournament. And, and uh, you know, obviously Coach Sutton's uh, final four runs, uh, you go back a little further and, and to Coach Iba's time in winning national championships. Uh, uh, this should not be a foreign place for Oklahoma State basketball, and the history of our program uh, proves that out. Uh, I think at different times, programs go through little lapses or, or whatever it may be, but uh, um, we're excited to be here. I think uh, you, you go into every game with the opportunity to win it. I think no matter whether you have 
uh, a 16 seed or number 16 by your name or you have a 10 like we do. You have a great opportunity in today's basketball world and, and uh, that's, uh, uh, you know, I'll look back to my team last year. We were a 14, beat a three. So it's, um, it's a great opportunity and, and Oklahoma State belongs in the tournament and we should be, this should be a habit for us, not, not something that uh, um, just happens every so often. Right here. Bill, I remember seeing you underneath the uh, arena after the game in Omaha a couple of years ago and obviously a frustrating time for you. You look back on that time and think about what was going through your mind at that time about whether that might have been it if you weren't because you weren't sure about what was going to happen after that. Do you remember that time? Question for Phil Forte. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, anytime you lose in the NCAA tournament, it's your last game of the season, so you always remember that moment very well. And, um, you know, I think the hardest part is it's the last time you'll ever play with that specific group of guys, that specific team. You know, that's the end. And, you know, so this has been a great ride. You know, I've I don't know if I've ever enjoyed playing with a group of guys as much as I have with this group this year. And so I think it's just about, you know, playing one more game with this specific group and these guys and these teammates. And I think that's what's, you know, trying to motivate us to, you know, win this game. Right here. This is for Juwan. Um, along the same lines of what I asked Coach before, how much do you know about Derek Walton, uh, about his game? Do you know him at all? And then what, from what you've been able to watch, at least on tape, are you guys similar? How do you, how do you think your guys' games uh, compare? Question for Jawan. Um, like Coach said, you know, he gets his teammates involved. You know, he goes to the hot guy. If he needs to score, he scores when he's needed. And so, I mean, we have similar games also. So, I mean, but I don't know him, like, personally, so. Questions, please? All right. Uh, seeing none. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, fellas. Thank, thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jacksonville State will be in at 12.05.